Welcome <laughs> back to the uh, Midwest Sports Show. Yeah. Uh, glitter edition. It's great. Well, maybe we're not here. Maybe, uh, remember Star, with Star Trek? Yeah, maybe we're being transported back to the Midwest. Maybe that's it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe with the, uh, the hollow deck. I like it. Is that, is that it. what it's called? I'm, by the way, I'm wearing my, we've been at Field of Dreams, and next year they're having a game there, and I'm wearing my Field of Dreams shirt. There it is. If you build, oh, yeah. Anyway. It's, uh, yeah. And I'm going to go in next year's White Sox Yankees, and then uh, the Cubs are going to play there in two years. That's my prediction. So I'll be there. Next <laughs> oh, why not? All right. That's the show, that's, everyone. Uh, that's right, the show. Well, and I'm going to go. I'm going to, I'll pay. Uh, yeah, my mom said tickets for the Yankees White Sox. She said they're fifteen hundred dollars. I don't know how she came up with that number, but <laughs> I bet they're pretty. Fifteen hundred dollars at the uh, Field of Dreams no, Field that's in Iowa. Probably not face value. I don't know how they're going to do tickets. That's going to be a tough one. Yeah, uh, yeah I, uh, maybe your mom is uh, starting to lose her marbles. Really, or something she like has eighty four. Hey, mom and I. I'm taking mom to the Iowa Rutgers game, so we'll be there in two. Yeah, less than two weeks. Oh, my gosh, college football's here. The first game, Iowa play. The Badgers probably play this weekend, too. But Iowa plays Saturday. All right, well, make sure you uh, don't get a staff infection. Okay. All right, from the Rutgers uh, team. Make sure you don't uh, tour the uh, the locker room. Yeah. Uh, Gene. Okay. Because uh, that's not good. Right. That's not good. All mm-hmm. right, well, Gene, uh, yes? this is the uh, the Midwest Sports Show. Mm, I, I believe Iowa is in the Midwest, and Iowa football, that is a sport. So, all right. So you, you get that on a technicality. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, there you go. I'm excited about my college name, football. My name is uh, Chris right. Stotts. Yeah, and, uh, I, you know, I've been using a fake name on the phone for, oh, like, okay. so many days now. I almost said my fake oh, name. Oh, really? Uh, what right is here. your fake? Your alias. Well, uh, you, could link, you could link that mm. to me. And uh, sorry, Gene, I have to uh, cold call you uh, oh, okay. before that's going to happen. Right, right. Uh, right. But, uh, everyone, this is the uh, Midwest Sports Show. My mm. name is Chris Stotts. Hello. And then uh, that's Gene Steichen. I. Hola. And uh, what makes us qualified to do a yes, uh, what podcast? Does? Well, uh, Gene, oh, it must be our it must be our degrees from Syracuse Broadcasting School, <laughs> like my niece that? Casey. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say, did you really uh, get a degree from Syracuse? But uh, uh, my niece just graduated from there. So. All right. Well, congrats to Casey. She's has yeah. she been on the show? She's doing. Does she do a phone no, interview? She, no, no but she's doing. Uh, she's working for a news station, reporting uh, from. She's been at uh, Patriots training camp. Doing oh yeah. Reports from there. Oh, that's pretty exciting. Yeah. Except she, I don't think she really cares about the Patriots. Well, it's a good thing. Uh, well, Gene, it's whoever uh, cuts the checks. You're That's a fan right. of that team, right? right? Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Am I right? Uh-huh. Good thing, oh, uh, yeah. Good, 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 good thing Gronk is uh, no longer playing, oh, right? Gronk. That might right. be your uh, cousin-in-law. Time for him to start She's, she's your niece? Yeah, she might, he might be your nephew-in-law. In no, the future, right? she's, she's, she, her heart's been spoken for okay. by another, <laughs> I think. Tom Brady? Yeah. Mm, oh, I'm just could be. All right, so uh, all right, this is the Midwest Sports Show. What makes us qualified? What? Uh, I'm from Wisconsin. Oh, really? And uh, the great city of Wisconsin. And from a uh, town on the Mississippi River. La Crosse, Wisconsin. Yeah. And I'm right down the river and, from uh, you. Yeah, you're a pontoon boat gone astray. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Journey. Hey, t- too bad Julian Dubuque. If you would have stopped in your town, uh, you guys would have been called Dubuque. Gene, I think we should do a modern day uh, Huckleberry Finn. Did your, was where it's your just town, me and you. Was your town discovered by a fur trapper? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, Myrick, Myrick or something oh, okay. like that. Or uh, yeah, I believe mm-hmm. there's a park named Myrick Park. Okay, and it was right. some Myrick guy. All right, or something like that. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah. So Gene, uh, we, we we should do a recreation of uh, Huckleberry Finn from uh, right. La Crosse, Wisconsin, to uh, Dubuque, Mark Iowa. Hey Dubuque, uh, they have a statue of Mark Twain uh, uh, at the river. We, they have the, we have a museum of, all about the Mississippi River, and there's a statue of Mark Twain. I, he's not normally associated with Dubuque, but w- they just stepped in and claimed him. It's, so good for good for my hometown. I guess uh, Vickersburg was trying to get rid of some statues or something like that. Yeah. Or where is he from originally? Well, uh, is he from uh, St. Louis St. or something? Louis, Hannibal. What's a- Hannibal, Missouri, right? Or something yeah. like that? Yeah, 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 I think so. All right, there you something go. Something like that. Uh, we know quite a bit about the Midwest. All right, right? <laughs> I, we uh, know the Mississippi River is a big part. Gina, of it. I'm surprised the uh, local uh, college hasn't uh, protested the statue. 
Oh, and because... said uh, Mark Twain supports uh, white supremacy. Wow. When's all this going to stop? <laughs> when? When all when all the statues are down, Gene. When oh. we completely, you know, how they, they got the dark ages in the yeah. uh, Europe. Yeah. Or uh, the Greek Dark Ages, because they got no uh, recollection. I'm sorry, no written right, word. Right. Yeah. They're trying to do that to the uh, huh. 1800s. Are we ever going to be able to, well, not that I did anyway, but are we ever going to be able to be body? Body? Mm. Body? Body anymore? Or is that, what? Are we ever Buddies? Gonna, yeah. Oh, well. I, I don't know what you're saying. I don't, well, are you ever going to be able to be, be, say sexist stuff? <laughs> Or well, Gene, I, that's why we have this podcast. Oh, Gene. okay. I so see. Uh, there's no repercussions. Right. Uh, was SoundCloud going to take our account away? Yeah. I don't think right. so. Good luck, SoundCloud. Yeah, Check good luck with sound. that. Get in line. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Mm. All right, well, Gene, speaking of uh, platforms, uh oh. You know, I was talking about uh, watching the show on YouTube. Yes. Uh, last week. Mm-hmm. Well, apparently someone did watch the show oh. on uh, YouTube. And uh, guess what, Gene? What? They gave us a thumbs down. Uh-oh. A thumbs down, Gene. How could you do that to us? You know how much we're getting paid? Yeah, do you know how much heart and soul yeah. we, uh, we use in this oh, show? Man. Not not very good. Uh, I think it was because we did the segment where the uh, the Vikings suck. Oh, uh, with Drew McGarry, did he, oh, yeah. he stumble across it? Yeah, he was probably Googling his name and probably came upon right, our video right. and uh, gave us a thumbs down. But, Sorry, uh, Drew. Yeah, not good. So there you go, Gene. Five viewers and one thumbs down. Oh, so, thanks uh, a lot. Yeah, not good. Way mm. to uh, fix that algorithm, yeah, folks. Gene, you have to have a lot of energy to click a thumbs down on a YouTube video. I, have I, you ever clicked I'm, thumbs down no, on a never. YouTube video? And I watch a lot of them. I, I mean, I don't always click thumbs down. And you down. watch some shit YouTube videos. Yeah, I've never, I've never gone thumbs down. So, oh, well. So maybe it's, it's they, like maybe, a, maybe they just maybe they just hit the wrong button. Who would do? No one would do that. I, uh, that mm, well, n- none of our viewers. Yeah, none of our I listeners. Don't so. I don't no, think so. No. Must have been some uh, straggler coming in. Yeah, coming hey, into the bar. You're not welcome anymore. Yeah, get get away. That's how you get listeners. Don't uh, don't listen to the show anymore. If you can't take it, yeah. hey, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. Right. You know who said that? Harry Truman, also from Missouri. Oh yes, of course. Yep. They. There's some bad stuff that happened in Missouri, I think. <laughs> I don't really consider point. Missouri the Midwest. I mean, I guess it is because yeah. St. Louis. I mean, I guess Southern. Kansas. Missouri. Uh, not really the Midwest, but yeah. Northern. I, I I cut it off at St. Louis, right? right? Yeah. yeah. Branson. Uh, Branson's got a bunch of Mormons, right? Or is that Jefferson? Jefferson. Where was uh, Branson Mormon? Is... Where was the guy, Joe Smith? Joe Smith? Yeah, but John he was, Smith. He, he was Smith? he was from like the East Coast, but they were yeah, trucking Boston across the country. Yeah, it, but he never made it out of Missouri. Yeah, he got because so. he uh, destroyed because the Mormons destroyed a local uh, paper press or a, and then a newspaper. And he was in jail. Was and uh, yeah, he was in jail, and then the uh, townsfolk rioted and yeah. basically uh, tore him limb from limb. See, and that's kicked the Mormons my, out. I've seen Book of Mormon three times, so that's that's where it comes in handy. And I'm going to see it again next year. That was, that was the funniest scene of the play. Right. Oh yeah, I don't remember. I, I I'll tell you after I see it. It's coming back. Right, well, listen, year. I I I, I want to tell some Mormon jokes, but there are a lot of Mormons right. in the lacrosse actually. Oh, okay. So a lot of my friends I grew up with I don't are think Mormon. We had any Mormon? We had Amish people in Iowa, but no, yeah. I don't think Mormons. But uh, were you know the Mormons. You know if you guys, you know what they got kicked out of Massachusetts. Yeah. They got kicked out of uh, I don't know, I think or Illinois at one point. Weren't right. they in Springfield at one point? Yeah, could have uh, been. And then Missouri. Keep moving along, well, Mormons. Well, I mean, listen. Take your Gene, book. How, with how many apartments have you been evicted from, right? I uh, mean, yeah. After getting evicted of after like five times, once you right. be like, hey, maybe it's not them. Maybe it's me. Exactly. Maybe I've it's never, me. And I don't think I've ever actually been evicted, though. Yeah, so. right. Oh. Exactly. Yeah, Gina, you ever had uh, you ever uh, your mm. followers ever destroyed a printing press and then uh, I don't think so. ripped you limb from limb? No. Yeah. No. I've Maybe. never had anyone um, yeah, would come in with torches and say, hand them over. Does the Remember? Book of Mormon have a self-reflection chapter? Mm-hmm. Latter-day mm-hmm. Saints? How about Latter-day Reflection, huh? How about that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, last uh, last week we alienated women. I guess we're going to alienate uh, Mormons as well. So uh, know, That would be you. All right. Well, yeah. Both times. Well, okay. Gene, uh, it's, it, you know, it pays to be risky. You know okay. I mean? Risky. I see. Mm-hmm. Risque. We do. We talk. We cover a lot of subjects on the right, show. Right. We're not afraid to t- cover them all. Uh, you're not certainly. I try to. One hundred percent. I try not to f- 
offend anybody. <laughs> yeah, Gene, hopefully not. Gene could work in the future. He's not. Uh, <laughs> he's, he, he's waiting yeah, for that call from Fruit of the Loom to right, come back, right? That's right. Yeah. Uh, Gene, uh, what have you been up to lately? Oh, the Midwest Sports Show. What's this all about? Oh. Oh, okay. Gene, why are you associating with a racist woman hater? What, where'd that like, come oh. from? Oh, that's the Fruit of the Loom company. Uh, oh, talking. I see. I see. Yeah, yep. I I probably have to tone it down. If we're gonna get them calling. We're gonna get a boycott. Forget right, about Mark right. Twain. We're gonna have a boycott here, Gene, right yeah. outside the studio. Okay. Well, come uh, and by the way, we actually are. Uh, if you look behind us, we're in beautiful uh, Winnipeg. Oh my God, Manitoba. Yeah. Oh, it couldn't all fit on the screen. Yeah, all you can do is see a rafter from the stadium. Yeah. Uh, 80 and, yards. Uh, of course. Uh, yeah, we are at the game. The, How would you uh, ever? I didn't even know game. that. I didn't. I didn't really see it. I didn't watch the game, but yeah, uh, we'll talk about game. all that uh, later okay. on. Um, we got some baseball updates, as always. We'll talk about that. And this week, the Chicago Bears are in the crosshairs. Uh, pardon my uh, rhyme. Mm. I feel like I'm in a Shakespeare oh, play. Oh, crosshairs. Uh, the bear. It's the Bears' turn. Okay. Oh, to the get Bears. the wrath ah, of their Drew l- of their fans. Yeah. Yeah. Drew McGarry's, uh, uh, what do you call it, Year, annual, <clears throat> uh, what do you call it, uh, public, what do you call this stuff, stories, um, yeah. specials, S- stories from why beyond. your favorite team sucks. Yeah. And uh, we, we, we've gone to the Lions. Vikings. We've gone to the Vikings. Packers. We've gone to the Packers. And now we're going to the Bears. Oh, boy. And uh, listen, the football season is not next week, right? It's a week from it's, then? Uh, it, this football season's in 10 days. All right, so and, we uh, will. And please, uh, people, if you're going to sell your tickets to the Bears game, drop your prices. Please. It's out right. of control What right do you think now. we should talk about next week? The Bengals or the mm-hmm. uh, the Browns or the, the Chiefs? I don't know. Yeah. None of those teams are that interesting, right? Yeah, Browns. I mean, what do you think? Yeah. yeah. Maybe the Browns, right? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, and we'll do all that okay. uh, at the end of the show. But, Gene, we're going to start today. Yeah. Hallelujah with a football story. We're not, we're not talking about stupid baseball anymore. We'll talk about that later, but we're not going to lead off with baseball because okay. there's actually some interesting stuff going on in football, yeah. including a shocker. Mm. You know, Gene, I'm. Uh, I, I was uh, watching ESPN. I think I, I was watching it when it happened because it. Or maybe I was watching. No, I don't know what I was watching. But it, I saw it flash up on the screen. <laughs> I don't know screen. what I was watching. I don't know but what it, I was doing. I mean, it didn't matter. You could have been watching HBO and it would have flashed up. Andrew Luck is right. I was like, what? Wow. Adam Schefter dropped a bombshell on Saturday so night. So Schefter got that one. Yep. I, I remember seeing it on Twitter. And uh, I think I saw it fairly uh, live as mm-hmm. it happened. Fairly uh, current. I think my timeline was fairly current at that time. Gene, you ever, you're on the Twitter, Gene? Yeah, sometimes. You ever do this? You ever like uh, just, Schefter, just, no. just, just, ke- just not catch up with Twitter? Right. On your Twitter app, on your phone? Yeah. And then uh, you're trying to like go back like 15 hours, and then for some reason it's not displaying correctly. You ever you that ever happened to you? Uh, okay, I'll go along with it. Sure. God, it's so goddamn annoying. I oh just, yeah. I just want to look at some goddamn tweets That's from 15 one of those hours things ago. That's It just annoys me to no end. All right, I'm glad we're uh, simpatico. Okay. With that, all right. So uh, Poor yes, Andrew Luck. Yeah, yeah. Andrew Luck. Uh, he retired. And uh, Gene, uh, mm. I, I, you know, again, I don't want to take all the credit, but did I say on this podcast maybe like a year ago or two years so. ago? Like, go ahead. That uh, Andrew Luck will never throw another football pass in the NFL. Well, if you said it two years ago, you're very. I, I was I was off by one year because he, he did was, play last he year. He was right? really good last year too. Well, I think it was average, right? A little no, slightly I better. Think than... Statistically, in his best year. Oh, okay. Whatever. Well, uh, he retired, and uh, he basically stated that he was mentally exhausted. But he retired while he was sitting in the stadium watching the game. Well, no, I, no, I don't think he texted Schefter. No, while he was uh, going over Schefter? footage with no, Brisket. No, they were planning a press conference for the following day, and it, the story broke during the game. Well, it was probably Jim Isray that probably uh, Someone, leaked it or something yeah, like that. But, yeah. uh, or maybe his agent it or something like that. It had to be one of the, I don't know why. But, yeah, they were playing a game against, was it, uh, I don't know who they are playing. Maybe it was the Chiefs, actually. But, yeah, they're actually it in the middle the of the Bears. Oh, oh, it was the Bears? I believe okay. it was the Bears. All right, so they're playing a preseason game, and then the news came out, and uh, people in the stadium slowly found out about it. And while he's walking off, they're booing him. Ooh, that's. No. What have you done for me lately? I've huh? never booed Good Lord. at a sports game. Never. And I never <laughs> will. I don't care what kind of crap the Cubs are throwing out there. You've never booed the Bears offense? Gene, you've, no. you've seen Rex Grossman play, right? In person? <laughs> I, I don't know. No. Yeah, probably. 
No. Good Lord. Uh-uh. All right. Well, so anyways, he was talking about like how uh, his, his life had basically become rehab and uh, injuries, and he was just mentally exhausted, and he wants to uh, – his, his head is not in the game. There's no more joy to it, and uh, he wants to travel the world. Oh, really? And uh, oh, live like a human being. Yeah. Well, I think he just got married, or maybe he's engaged, or maybe he's dating. Something is going on. <laughs> but I'm sure he's banging something. I He's such a good guy. He seems like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, uh, so. Hopefully, I, I just hope he comes back at some point. Maybe not. Pretty, sure, but. pretty shocking. I, this may even be more shocking than, uh, you know, Barry Sanders because, oh, uh, yeah, you know. This is way up there. Because he's you know, a. Uh, Barry Sanders was 31, probably. Maybe like 30. two years older. But also, Barry Sanders was a like running back on a bad team, getting yeah, hit constantly. Team. The team wore him down. Congratulations, Detroit. Well, uh, yeah, that's the thing. He has been the most hit quarterback like the last three years in a row mm, or something like that because yeah. the offensive line was uh, pretty terrible. Uh, for whatever reason, the GM decided to uh, yeah, invest they got, in they T.J. Yates. Guy. Right, right. Gr- Grigson, right, or something like that? Yeah, so they got really, the there. guy they got now is really good, but yeah. Yeah. Mm. Wasn't well, it sad that uh, Pagano is the one with cancer, but uh, Andrew Luck is the one that had to retire because oh. he was too beat well, there up? There you go. Yeah. Pretty, pretty sad. I believe that's Pagano's called transfer. in the league, uh, Bears defense, so. Oh, that's sad, though. Yeah, pretty sad for Andrew Luck, I think but I, good for him. I, mean, he, I can't imagine this is it, though, but I I don't know. Well, it, is he going to play for the XFL for his dad? No, don't do that. Probably not. N- no. Probably not. For uh, $200,000 no. a game? Probably he, not. It was great that the, at least the Colts uh, didn't squabble over money like the Lions <laughs> did with uh, – they're re- Johnson. Remember, they made him pay. Well, and Barry Sanders. Stuff. They made him pay. Barry Sanders pay yeah. $20 million back, right? Yeah. So that's a classy franchise. Well, I mean, Israel was like, man, uh, how many Percocets can I get from I that much money? Oh, my God. <laughs> Good Lord. That's a lot of Percocets. Yeah. You sure we can't uh, yeah. get that money back? Yeah. All right. Um, so, uh, pretty you. sad. Um, I mean, not sad, though. I mean, uh, you yeah, know. Yeah, that's what he wants to he do. He retired on right. his own terms. I guess it's pretty easy when you're a uh, quarterback making $25 million a year, though, to step away. Yeah, and if, he's not a big spender, so. If he was a, uh, well, <laughs> okay. When your family, okay, let's say, when your family is rich as fuck, I'm, I'm pretty oh, sure the yeah, Lux. Right, he went right. to Stanford, for God's sakes. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the Lux are yeah. uh, well off. He'll do something. Because his dad played football, right? Didn't his dad play know. football? He was it. His dad was the, uh. He was uh, in charge of the uh, Pac-10 or something, oh. and he was a, he was the athletic director at Stanford as well, I believe, something like that. Now he's well, he's, Andrew. It's a little tougher when Daddy is not head of the team, huh? Oh my huh, gosh. Andrew? How you you, you can't you can't recruit, uh, you know, mm. can't can't find uh, offensive linemen uh, in Oakland like he used to, huh? Right, right. right? No, I don't know yeah. what I'm talking about. All right, and uh, yeah, I mean, again, uh, you know, if you're a uh, safety making, uh, you know, one million a year, I think probably things are a little bit different. But uh, yeah, when you're making that quarterback money, probably probably pretty easy to uh, put it all away. And you probably didn't see a Super Bowl coming anytime soon mm. um, for the Colts. Yeah. So, and just think about it, Gene. I mean, if uh, Tom Brady hadn't overinflated those balls, uh, Andrew Luck may have a uh, Super Bowl too, right? Oh, that's who knows right. about that. Yeah, because that was against the – oh, boy. That was okay. against the Colts. Yeah. All right, so there you go, Andrew. Well, good good trails, my friend. Happy trails. And, uh, we'll I th- see you in two years. Yeah. Back on the field. Can we, can we take back that uh, that win against the Badgers in the uh, Rose Bowl? Was he oh, the quarterback for that? He, pr- yeah. It was him well, and Stanford. Russell Wilson, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm not sure. Can you retire all his uh, wins from college, vacate all his wins now? I don't – Can we I do that? Yeah. Anyhow, anyway. All right, well, there you go. All right, and then uh, we got some uh, Green Bay news, including a story uh, that uh, may have flown under the radar. But we're hearing that Aaron Rodgers tripped Bears coach Matt Nagy Uh at the Celebrity Golf Tournament in Lake Tahoe, Nagy Uh says. Nagy smiles about it. And, uh, yeah, Gene. Aaron Rodgers is pretty competitive, huh? He's good. Is he a good golfer? I I guess I think, he's I think he is pretty good. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> but I don't know what he do. To I don't Nagy. think he sucks. He probably doesn't suck, Gene. All right, he's a all professional right. athlete. He probably yeah, doesn't no suck. Tony Romo, but he's probably pretty good. Yeah, yeah. They should just have all the quarterbacks, including Andrew Luck, just play golf. 
Mm-hmm. You know, I, I'd pay. Who wants to see Tiger and Phil on November? Right. You know, after Thanksgiving, let's see. Uh, See A Rod, right, and uh, Trubisky. Well, maybe not Trubisky. Trubisky, big year ahead. Maybe not him. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, Gene, we have a picture of uh, the embrace of Rodgers and Nagy after a game. I think it was after the second game that uh, last would have been year. The one in Chicago, yeah. And uh, what's not said there is what's not stated or written out is uh, Nagy whispered in Aaron Rodgers' ear, "I wish I had you as my quarterback. I wish you had my as quarterback." Yeah. I got the this. Bears, I got this idiot named Mitch as my I'm quarterback. I'm telling you, the Bears are so set up to win. If they had Aaron Rodgers, wow! Why? Why, they, why didn't they get like a quarterback during the draft or something like that? I, How they, about that? I don't know. Or why don't they try Trubisky's, to move him? Trubisky's not playing during the preseason, so I don't. Or why don't they try to move him or something like that, or trade him or something? I don't know. Maybe they. Maybe they think they got something. There. Well, when you trade up for a third round pick, right? Yeah, yeah, they're pretty much stuck. You're so stuck they're committed for a couple of years, but boy, oof. we'll All right. see. Right. And as we uh, previously stated, uh, the Packers played in Winnipeg against the I don't Oakland think Raiders. Even the people of Winnipeg went to the game. I don't think. I mean, there couldn't have been less uh, enthusiasm about this game. Well, you know what they should have done? They should have just uh, covered the whole field with uh, ice, and then given the players uh, some sticks and put a puck down. Right. right. And then maybe we would have had some excitement in Winnipeg. Maybe maybe, even, maybe had some people cheering. Oh, I know. I saw like uh, maybe thirty seconds of it. Uh, I I think the Packers won. Aaron, nobody played. No, well, Who the cares? Packers it sat. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the Packers sat 33 players after field conditions became an issue in Winnipeg, and Packers TV broadcast says the field will be shortened. And uh, the reason why, of course, is that uh, the Canadian football uh, fields are what? They're like 10 yards shorter or something the, like that? The end zones are 20 yards, but the goalposts are on the goal okay. line. All right, so yeah, so they moved the goalpost back for the NFL, and I guess there was a spot on the field that didn't feel right. It was probably a square foot. Yeah. Uh, but that maybe, hey, maybe where the goalpost used to be. Yeah, exactly. Um, hey, Gian, huh? once you play on Lambo your your whole life, your whole career, nothing matches up. Yeah. Nothing compares to that. So of course, this is uh, comes comes in the wake of uh, two years ago. Where at the Hall of Fame game, uh, the plastic, what, the plastic pellets melted in the sun? Yeah. And that game was called off. Right. So, uh, yeah. The... Just don't overthink it, NFL, right? Well, yeah. Well, Let's stay well, out of Winnipeg. They already have, who are they, the Winnipeg Bombers? I'm not even sure. <laughs> Winnipeg, what's the I CFL? Know. I don't know. <laughs> They're not the Rough Riders. The They're... Winnipeg Flyers or something like that? Or mm-hmm. no, that's the, what's the uh, NHL team? The, oh, the Jets. The Jets. Oh, no, but they got, they moved. Oh, Winnipeg doesn't have a team anymore? I don't think so. Not hockey. Oh. I think they moved to, I don't know where they are. All right. So, uh, but yeah, Gina, again, you know, remember the old football footage right. where there was a, uh, whoop, where there was a, uh, what do you call it? A uh, goalpost in the yeah. middle of the, uh, that's in the how end it zone. Is in the Canadian league. Yeah. Like, like, like what? Uh, you tell me that's uh, too good for the Packers, how, but how can it, it, it wasn't too good for Jim Thorpe. It seems so dangerous. I don't know what the Canadian. They seem like good people, but what are you doing with the goalposts in the middle of the field there? Well, it's exciting, Gene. Okay. It's excitement. It's a real man sport over yeah. there. Um, John Gruden. John Gruden, the coach of the Oakland Raiders, didn't know what was uh, up with the Packers, because oh. he said the field looked fine to wow. him. The field was fine. Well, uh, let me tell you something, John. Uh oh. When you uh, when you have Derek Carr and Antonio Brown on your roster, right? Uh, I'm sure the field was fine. Yeah. Uh, but listen, we got Aaron Rodgers. All right. Makes he, he uh. Ain't getting out of his Canadian tuxedo. Yeah. He ain't. He ain't. He ain't uh, Brad Johnson. All right. Yeah. John, Chucky, whatever you call yourself this week. I like the way he looked, though. I loved his mustache. The whole get up. He was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Canadian tuxedo. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, John, go uh, go kiss my ass, John Gruden. Wow. There you go. That's a good way to end it. All right. And uh, John, uh, Gene. Oh, the kicker story. You love it. Uh, you always love it when there's a uh, big expose in Sports Illustrated right, and it's focused right. on your team, right? Yeah. Uh, you can't wait to dive in and read it. Well, Sports Illustrated had a uh, story. Uh, this past week, documenting 
the crazy kicker search, crazy kicking search process mm. that the Chicago Bears, Bears have been, been employing. And uh, Gene, I uh, I thoroughly enjoyed this. Um, did you uh, did you I read did, this? I did not, but I heard about it through the grapevine. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, here's some of the highlights. Uh, they used uh, again. We did talk about this already, where they uh, had the kickers, like they brought in like nine kickers. First of all, right, right. And uh, they had the kickers uh, line up at the 43 yard line. Yeah. Uh, in front of the whole team with Augusta silence. Mm. Augusta silence, I complete knew I already, silence. I already knew that. Yeah, and only two of the kickers made the kick. Yeah, um, not exactly ideal conditions, I would imagine. Mm. Um, so that, of course, was uh, pretty weird. Um, they had a track man. You you ever track man software? You ever seen this thing? Uh, no. Where it's basically the same thing where they're using golf now, where they track okay. the shot and the altitude on all that stuff. They did that. All right. And they uh, brought in this kicker who ha- who does this kicker. I'm sorry, this kicking coach who does this kicking. Uh, right. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, program for the yeah. kids, yeah. for yeah. the college students. And they're talking about uh, ball spin and height and all this other stuff. And people didn't know what the fuck was going on. Didn't even know like how to do it. They had his score sheets up, mm-hmm. basically rating the kicks on uh, different metrics again, which no one knew about. Yeah. But then they uh, had everyone uh, ranked uh, and in pu- public view in the locker room, Gene. Yeah. So all these kickers are looking at these sheets with all these scores, you know, with ball velocity and spin and all this crap. Uh, Gene, I don't know about you, but uh, I like a kicker that makes the kick through the uprights. I don't care about the ball speed. There you go. I don't care about the launch there, angle. Hey, there, when in doubt, right? This ain't, this ain't MLB, right. Gene. Yeah. All right, Matt Nagy. Yeah. All right. And uh, what else we got here? Uh, well, yeah. So basically, they uh, basically just made the point that uh, it was completely insane, and uh, it's probably gonna just doom their kicking uh, situation hey, they, the whole year. At least they they settled on a guy, and he was good against the Colts. He made two kicks, one that, from well, fifty yeah, yards. He, yeah, he made a fifty eight yard, right? And they owe a draft pick if he stays on the roster. So we'll see. Well, I see how he does. Well, Jim, how, what's his ball speed? Like, I, I what's don't his know. rotational he's, speed? He's never actually kicked in an NFL game, an actual regular season. What, was game. he kicking in Winnipeg? He was it eighty he yards. Was on, uh, he was on the Raiders practice squad, I think. Yeah. All right. Like well, that. Gene, who could have ever predicted this crazy kicking mm. process was going to just completely doom the? Oh yeah, that's right. right. Me. Oh. Okay. I did. <laughs> I pointed this out a long All time right. ago. Like this, this is going to be obsessive. And uh, this is, they're going to show this kick every single time a uh, the Bears line up for a kick, for a big yeah. kick. And Cody Parker, man, poor guy. Cody Parker, yeah. Poor guy. He, nobody even gave him a tryout, so. Jesus oh, Christ. Okay. All right. And he was a Pro Bowl kicker. Oh, what Penn State do? All right, well, this is slightly late-breaking news, but a, uh, a Penn State, an ex-Penn State football doc filed a lawsuit Saying that James Franklin, who I guess is the AD, the athletic director for Penn State, Gene, do you know He's this? He's a football coach. Oh, is he? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Interfered on decisions right. to clear their, the he, players. Oh, I did. I did see the headline. He's their football coach. And Bill O'Brien, who is currently the coach for the Texans, yeah, uh, he was I guess had before. issues as well. Yeah, he was coached before James Franklin. And I guess this football doc was uh, pressured to clear players to play, even though they were not ready. Um, and then, uh, because of arguments over such matters, he was reassigned to another uh, department in uh, Penn mm. State, and he's uh, seeking fifty thousand dollars. Gene, wow, that ain't, that ain't chump change. Yeah, in in Pennsylvania, that can uh, set you <laughs> up quite nicely. Gene, I could buy you a uh, buy you a city next to go. State College. Yeah, what's what's the city name? State College. Yeah, uh, Happy Valley State College. That's uh, that's the city name though, right? What's the city name? Uh, ha- Is it Happy Valley? Yeah, happy, but I don't know if that's the actual Happy Valley State College. I don't know. Yeah, Happy Valley. All right, so nothing, not not, not another good look coming out of uh, Penn State. Let's just try to do something right, Penn but, State. But uh, hey, let's I'm, stay off her radar. Hey, Gene, Gene, okay. Gene, Gene, at least at least at least the coach wasn't fucking any of the boys, any young boys. Oh, he was just trying to make him play hurt. That's it. Wow. I guess uh, I guess there's a bright side of that, right? Yeah, really. Could have been worse, right? Yeah, okay. Any sc- here's the thing, Gene. Any uh, Penn State is pretty much immune to any scandal now. Right. Because it'll never be worse than, uh, you know, their uh, their quarterback coach fucking a bunch of young boys in the uh, facility. Wow. 
Not there a lot tops go. that. <laughs> Not a lot tops that. Yeah, there you go. Well, wait, wait, wait. Was the young boy hurt? Mm. Was he hurt at the time? Okay. What was that guy? Sanduce? Is that guy dead? That guy's he's dead now, is he? No, he's in prison, but Good he hasn't Lord. been killed. I'm surprised. If he got if he got let out in general pop, he would be killed. But well, I, he, a lot of Penn State fans in the federal prison in yeah. uh, Pennsylvania. So. Well, and Barry all Mills. Those guys, yeah, he's, he's still alive. So I don't know. They got him in protective custody Jeez. somewhere. Yeah, that guy will probably end up living longer mm. than Andrew Luck. You know, his. his, yeah. his yeah, blah, blah, blah. All right, Gene, we're going to uh, – we will return to uh, – someone thumbs up. <laughs> someone thumbs up uh, <laughs> ped- pedophilia. Uh, so there you go. Wow. All right, so uh, we are going to uh, move over to baseball real quick. We mm. will return to the Bears Okay. Uh, at the end of the show. But, uh, yeah, Gene, uh, quite a week, quite a weekend of uh, baseball. Got to give credit to St. Louis, the best fans in baseball. <laughs> Whatever they deserve it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, they're playing good. Yeah, I'll give them that. St. Louis just uh, swept the Colorado Rockies four straight. They won. They won two out of three against the Brewers. Yeah, including a uh, no hit bid against the Brewers, but uh, the Brewers actually did get one hit. They looked in trouble. They went on the West Coast and they were terrible, and they kept getting beat. And then I was like, oh, they're done. And now, wow, resurgence, resurgence. Well. Uh, speaking about the Milwaukee series, real quick, Paul, Paul DeYoung. Have you have you heard of this asshole, Gene? Paul DeYoung. Uh yeah. Who is he? Paul DeYoung. Uh, the, the the Cardinals just get all these players like you've never even heard of, and they're just like superstars, like Carpenter and all these other guys. Uh, Paul DeYoung hit a home run into the Big Mac sign in St. Oh, Louis. Did yes. you see this? Yes, I did. Mm-hmm. Of course, it's the uh, the Mark McGuire Big Mac, uh, I guess, uh, what do you call it, rafters or whatever. And he hit it in the M. He hit it in the M and turned off the M, the light on the M. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know what that means, Gene? Uh, time to get a new light? F- free box of steroids, Gene. Oh, I see. Free box All of right. steroids, right? Okay. You, know, you know you hit the Toyota truck, right. you get the truck. Yeah. No, you get a free box of steroids okay. if you get the Big Mac sign. Oh, congratulations, Paul. And, uh, yeah, he, uh, he he broke the M, no longer lit the neon sign. Does mm-hmm. this, this, this guy think he's the natural? <laughs> or Roy something? Hobbs. Does, does he think he's uh, – what, That was uh, in, the, in the playoffs a couple of years. Kyle Schwarber knocked out a light. I think it was him, uh, the Budweiser sign, something like that. Or maybe it was Rizzo. Robert Ray, you think he's Robert Redford? <laughs> yeah, I you think you're so. Sundance, buddy? Yeah. All right. Well, All right. good good luck, Milwaukee. All tough. right. And then, Gene, one more thing. Well, actually, a couple more things. Uh, I saw these ads for Quick Trip uh, behind the batters in, uh, in in Bush Stadium. And, Gene, you know Quick Trip, right? The, yes. the Midwest. Yeah, uh, it's basically absolutely. the Seven Eleven of the Midwest yeah. with a K. Yeah. K-W-I-K. Yeah. But this had a Q. Ah. Quick, Q U I C K. So, Gene, I'm just trying to figure this out. Are they different corporations? Did someone steal the name Quick Trip? Oh, what happened? Mm. Do you know anything about this? I do not. That that one, uh, you're gonna have to do some more investigating on that one. I'm, uh, yeah. Maybe that, it was the Quick Trip with the K that stole the name. Could have been because yeah. they use a K. Fall play a, suspected. Yeah, not good. Yeah. All right, and then uh, while we're talking about the Brewers really quick, uh, Christian Yelich is going to be posting, uh, is going to be in the uh, ESPN body issue naked. Mm-hmm. So you go, Gina. You, you yeah. excited about that? I, it comes out next week. Yeah, I don't know. The I've never actually seasons? seen the body issue. I've seen pictures online, but <laughs> for Christian Yelich, I'm sure it looks good. Brooks Kepka is going to be on there too. Yeah. Of course, yeah. the last brewer was uh, Prince Fielder. All right. Uh, but we got Christian Yelich. So, okay. uh, yeah. Well, we'll see how it goes. All right. All right. All right. And then uh, we're going to talk about the Cubs here. Yeah, I'll give my Cubs update news. on the Cubs. Oh, they're scary. Cubs got swept. Every time you think they're going to be decent, they just fall apart. That was one of the worst series I've seen them play. They got ever. destroyed. Yeah, by they the weren't. Nationals. They could have won the last game, but they weren't competitive. The w- Nationals. Wow, if they they look good and the Cubs, wow, that was bad. That was not good. That was depressing because the Cubs were had won five in a row. I go, hey, 
They got we, some. We might have here. something here, and then they ran through that bulldozer. Oh my god! Of the Nationals, they got destroyed. They were terrible. Did Suarez hit? No, no, no. Suarez is on the Reds. Uh, yeah, they uh, Rondon killed them. He was yeah. the player of the week. He, he was. He, yeah, they were. And we didn't even face Max Scherzer. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I want to see uh, Lester and uh, Scherzer uh, t- t- take on each other and see Lester's who's the uh, getting torched. See who's the uh, biggest psycho on the mound. How about yeah, that? Yeah, Lester's having a rough go of it. So hey. Uh, the Cubs were up three games over the Cardinals about a week ago. Now they're three games back. So yep. whatever you're doing, I maybe try something different, I guess. I think they're one and a half games be uh, ahead of the Brewers right now, too. So yeah. uh, Brewers are coming. Down, they're, they're, in, they're in your rear view mirror, Gene. Better yeah, watch out. Yeah, it's not good. Well, Gene, you know uh, you know what's not also not good? Right. Bears. <laughs> you know what else is not good? No. Uh, Nick uh, Costellos. Castellanos. Castellanos, whatever this guy's name is. He's awesome. Well, Gene, uh, apparently he thinks every game is opening day. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he says it to Madden every day. Hey, good luck opening right, day right. or whatever. Yeah. And uh, when he was asked by a uh, journalist, uh, it's not, uh, what do you mean it's opening day? He asked, he, he replied back, how do you, how can you prove it's not opening day? There you go. Hard right, day. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the sun? <laughs> the earth moving around the sun, Nick? Yeah, our games aren't getting snowed I mean, out anymore. Yeah, there's uh, – how about the calendar that everyone uses? How about the newspaper every day? Yeah, I like it. He's been great. I wish he would come back to the Cubs, but uh, he's got Scott Forrest as an agent, and it's going to be tough. This is this is worse than a flat earth, Gene. Yeah, yeah. Yep. All right, good luck, Cubs. All right. Well, we're going to have this thing now where people are like, prove that it's this day. Yeah, I mean, well, time is just a construct by human man, yeah. by humans. So, it's whatever time you, I guess, you want. And then, uh, Gene, it was uh, the players' weekend this past wow. week. What a disaster! And uh, yeah, before previously, they just had these crazy uniforms, but now everyone was playing either in a black or white uniform. I, wh- what was the it made no sense? What I was mean, the uh, reason behind all this? Stuff? I don't know, but it was a abject failure, I think, from uh, what everyone said. And then you couldn't even read the nicknames on the white because it was white on white. You couldn't even see what the nicknames were. Yeah, wh- what was the was it black on black for the black? Yeah, yeah. Just crazy. Why did they just switch them up? I don't know. White on the white, white yeah, on the black uniforms yeah, and black yeah. on the white ones, right? Yep, yep. And uh, Joe Madden, not a fan. Oh, my gosh. Wolf. Yeah. Joe Madden said when asked about the Cubs all-white players weak in uniforms. Oh. I'd just like to know who said this was a good idea. Mm. Was well, it Nick uh, C- Castellano? <laughs> it was opening day? Castellano? Let's just hope. Oh, Joe, you, this is it. You're, you're down to about 30. <laughs> Four games or thirty-two games, and uh, please turn it on. Otherwise, he's he's coaching for, managing for his career. He otherwise he's going to be the White Sox manager next year. Oh, yeah. He's going right. to have to fight Ozzy Gein for that. Oh uh, man, it sucks for that, right? Yeah, when you see that. All right, do I got anything right. on the baseball? Okay. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's another uh, story here. Oh boy. Uh, this is uh, league-wide news. Uh, apparently, the use of gas station sexual enhancement pills in baseball is so prevalent. Mm. Uh, Gene, have you seen these uh, these pills? I haven't. Like uh, at I like Seven Eleven or whatever. I, no, I haven't been in a gas station or a <laughs> Seven. Yeah, but I guess there's a lot of them. Well, Gene, you've seen these uh, Mexican women selling just these pills on the street. You, uh, you've seen this? No, I haven't run across them, but uh, I'll well. take your word for it. Well, yeah, maybe uh, down on my block, Gene. You know, where it's a little bit more uh, Hispanic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're like uh, right across, not right across, but on the same sidewalk as a grocery store that I go to every single day. There's these ladies, these old ladies just set up these tables and they just wow. sell these, uh, these pills mm. in these, uh, you know, these, uh, pop out pill, uh, you know, boxes yeah. or whatever. And, uh, I, I'm pretty sure most of them are not pharmacists, Gene. Uh huh. I could be wrong about that, but, uh, I don't think any of these have a, a pharmacy degree. And uh, apparently, you know, Gene, I've never been dumb enough to actually go buy this stuff from these people, but I do see some dumbasses actually t- consulting with these ladies and buying these wow. pills. You know, no thanks. I mean, no might, thanks. might as well just get a chicken, you know, a rooster, yeah. a there rooster, uh, a rooster leg. It's got to be a masking agent. You know, it's got to be something. Well, weird. apparently, it's so prevalent that MLB sent out a memo memo warning players that their use could lead to positive PED right, tests. Right. Mm-hmm. As at least two players have claimed this year, sources told ESPN. Okay. Well. Uh, so, hey, Gene, doesn't 
Doesn't matter if you're a millionaire. I mean, right, you see, right, you see right. a bunch of pills on the counter at 7-Eleven, and it says, uh, you know, extends. Yeah. It, do, it doesn't matter how dumb. It doesn't matter how rich you are, Gene. D- dumb, dumb does dumb. Yeah. Dumb. Dumb yeah. does dumb. Right. And uh, I'll tell you what, though, Gene. It's too bad it's not 2007 because uh, this is the perfect alibi for Ryan Braun. Wow. Too bad. Ryan Braun. Could have could have used a whole new excuse, right? All right, Bears. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Gene is ready to uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> to get to the main course the heat, here. Yeah, and I want to know why the Bears. Man, if the Bears had Aaron Rodgers, they would be overwhelming favorites. They better hope <laughs> this is somewhat decent. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go over the uh, the Bears fans. These are actual letters from actual Bears fans. I think they're, they're – so, I'll tell you this. Bears fans are very excited. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're about to find that out. Yeah, and again, uh, you know, we should give credit where credit is due. This is Drew McGarry's column he does sure. every single year uh, for Drew, all the teams. Drew, we give you credit. Don't give it thumb downs on YouTube. Yeah, man, bastard. Just give him thumbs up. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so he does his little uh, penance in the beginning of the article, and he does his, uh, you know, woefully uh, inadequate opinions on the right. certain teams and uh, woefully on research. But then the main feature of the story is uh, actual letters from actual fans of the said team. Um, and those are always entertaining. Although this year they've been a little bit lame, kind of lame. All right, kind of lame. All right, but I think the Bears have actually been uh, All right, a little Bears. bit better. Why do you suck? Bear fans should be optimistic, <coughs> so I'll be disappointed if they say anything right. bad. Dante, do you know, you know anyone from Chicago named Dante? I don't. See right there, I, I don't think that's right. Yeah. And it, if there is a Dante in uh, Chicago, it's he, a Drew he, McGarry made he, up he, name. He, he watches uh, football, not uh, football. All right. Okay, so uh, Dante says, fuck Cody Parker. Parky? Parky? Yeah. Parky. Parky. Is his name Parky? Yeah. Fuck Cody Parky. All right. Yeah. Kyle? That, that's all I had to say. Oh, fuck okay. Cody hey, yeah, well, there you're in lockstep with the Bears fans. Good letter. So good job. That was. That's about how they felt. Uh, Kyle says, fuck kickers. All right. Well, there you I, go. I, I think the G- Bears might have a uh, kicker uh, issue. Complex, they better hope right? Eddie Pinero is good. Cause, yeah. All right, Josh says, uh, real Bears fans know that any team that employed Jay Cutler and Mark Trestman at the same fucking time was never going to make that goddamn kick. Mm. Wow. Pretty good pretty good logic, yeah. I think. All right, Tim. Do grown men pee in sinks at Soldier Field? You bet. Do fans still believe in bear weather bringing this team success despite data proving them wrong? Of course. Bear weather, Gene. Yeah. Bear weather. November. Uh, Barry. Home field advantage. Barry says, uh, <laughs> Barry says, uh, fuck every kicker not named Robbie Gould or Kevin Butler. There you Who's go. Kevin Butler? Is he like the kicker he from the 85? He was a Super Bowl team. Yep, okay. yep, yep. And he was one of those guys that he'd run down and tackle guys. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That's, that's bear weather. He fit in with uh, defense very well, even though he's a kicker. All right. Well, Pat, speaking about the 85 Bears, Pat, Mike Dicka is a piece of shit. All right. Well, can't argue with that. Right. Yeah. Well. Jared. Jared says uh, Nagy needs to move on, but he won't. Yeah, I agree with that. I, I think the thing is, they all thought they're gonna win the Super Bowl. Yeah. And they think that kick, that kicker, Cody right. Parker, like destroyed their Super Bowl chances. Well, hey, guess what? Yeah. You lost to the uh, Eagles in the the, the wild round, wild, right. wild card. Right in the wild right. card round. You guys had three more, four, three games, right? Left. Uh, yeah, a couple. You had two more to get to the Super Bowl after that, yep. and then yeah, you'd had to win three more. That's a lot of kicks, yep. Matt. All right, Pete. Since the Eisenhower administration, the Bears have basically been as successful as the Buccaneers, and yet our fans act like we're NFL royalty. Mm. That's a good point. I mean, what have the Bears done? What? It's been thirty. Gee, it's been thirty years. Uh, thirty. Oh, has it been forty years? Yeah, forty 34, years. Right? Thirty-four years. Oh yeah, thirty years. Eighty-five since eighty-five. It's not, hey, listen. It's not like they won a bunch of games in the seventies, right? Super rules in the seventies. Oh, 70s. they were terrible. Seventies was a dark time for the Bears. Yeah. So were the eighties till they got good, but yeah. 70s. You mean even like two the, years? Even the, the 60s were terrible, even though they had Gel Sarah's. And, uh, well, they Dick won a Rocket. bunch in the 50s, though, right? Yeah. When no one cared. The 40s, whenever. All those <laughs> fake titles they got going. Yeah, when there was like 12 teams. Right. And yeah. they didn't really tackle that hard. Mm. All right. Uh, Dan says, here's what's wrong with 
Bears fandom. Being angry about a kicker who already showed you how many fucking times that this was how it would all go down. Because he, he was bad, right? He was a bad kicker during the whole Yeah, year. He, he missed a couple pretty – yeah, he and he kept hitting the upright, not just in the Eagles game, but he did it a bunch during the season. So he wasn't very popular. All right, Kyle says, uh, what did one season of coaching this team get Nagy? Four padded walls and a straight jacket while he mutters double doink through applesauce spittle. Wow. Uh, Sean? If I was gath- if I was granted three free three free wishes, I'd happily use two of them on Cody Parker Parkey contracting Ebola. I also fucked John Fox with a whole pineapple. Yeah, he, was, he wasn't very popular. A lot of, a lot of pent up anger here, I think, yeah. right? Yeah. Mitch is I I'm pretty sure this ain't Mitch Trubisky. Mitch says uh Last year's end was just karma for releasing Robbie Gould for being too cheap. Probably that's probably accurate. John, John says I uh, can't wait for another year of is Trubisky any good? Probably not. The field sucks. The stadium sucks. The fan base is fucking insane. Bear weather is dumb. We will lose on a missed field goal this year, and 350 pound <laughs> guys in Erlacher jerseys will wow. ride through the South lot. Oh. The McCaskies will suck forever. Wow, Virginia. Khalil Mack and Akeem Hicks are so fucking good, it turns me into a big, sweaty fan every Sunday again, and I hate them for it. Mm. Akeem Hicks is like a um, – we're, we're talking about this last week. He's not that receiver from uh, the Giants. He's another yeah. Hicks. Michael says, uh, Chicago spent the entire offseason scapegoating a kicker to divert the attention away from an, un- I'm sorry, from an undisciplined defense that had three penalties during a third-quarter touchdown drive from the Eagles – and from an offense that couldn't score a touchdown, thus needing to rely on the aforementioned escape goaded kicker. In natural Bears fashions, they have not unloaded they have not upgraded the kicker position at all. Well, who wants to be a kicker for the Bears, right? After all that crap. Um, Alexander. I went to the tailgate for the playoff game and ran to my ex girlfriend, who I haven't seen in years. After we made eye contact and awkwardly said hello to each other. I was introduced to her now to the I was introduced to her now to the man she cheated on me with, then left me for, and is now her husband. Thanks to Cody Park Parke Parkey. That was the second worst thing that happened to me to me that day. So he ran let me just repeat that because I don't think this letter was written, written that well. Ran to his ex girlfriend at a tailgate, met her boyfriend, current boyfriend that she cheated on him with. And they're going to get married. And then he watched uh, the double doink. And that was only the second worst thing. All right, Michael. The oldest, nine, is now sucked in. He's had, he has a lifetime of futility and heartbreak ahead of him. He actually started to learn this during Cody Parquet's double doink in the playoffs last year. My boy didn't yell or rage. He just quietly went to his room. My wife found him there 30 minutes later just sitting in the dark, staring at the floor with no words to say. And how, how do you explain to a kid that, uh, you know, mm. your, your team's not going to win all the time, right? Yeah. I mean, that's rough. When, when did you learn that, Gene? Uh, when I was three. So <laughs> I started young. Very specific. T-ball. T-ball. All right. All right. Will says last season Ryan Pace swindled that cherry-faced Luddite in Oakland out of a first bout Hall of Famer and helped get this team from worst to first. We were all riding high, way over our fucking skis. We asked ourselves, is this team better than 85? Because God forbid we spend more than one second of the year not maintaining, not marinating ourselves in Dicka, Bran, Aju, and thinking about these fo- those fucking dinosaurs. Then, because we live in a just universe sometimes, it bounced right back in our faces on the last play of the year, not once but twice. Just incredible. They should play that kick in a highlight reel before every game just to remind us all of the inevitable. Wow. Psychosis. The whole team yeah. has psychosis. <clears throat> I'm sorry, the whole fan base is uh, psychosis. All right, Steve. We have a GM who wasn't allowed to have the sack, who wasn't allowed to have the sack to stand up to his head coach and not let Robbie Gould walk out the door, and now we can't find a kick who can actually make a kick. So is this John Fox? John Fox did not like uh, Robbie Gould, and that's why they, they well, cut him? Yeah. Did he lose a couple of games? 
Yeah, he wasn't very good his last year. Then they let him go, and then he turned into the best one of the best kickers in the NFL. Yeah, because uh, John Fox went. They went three and uh, what thirteen that year, terrible. and John Fox wanted to blame Robbie Those Gould. Are some dark times. Yeah, having him as coach. Marco says, uh, "What was my dad's opinion towards our prized possession, Khalil Mack? Pay the stupid fuck too much money. He can't even play offense. Oh. I'm not kidding. Who does my dad blame for the Bears' loss to the Eagles? Khalil Mack. He didn't do anything." Bears fans deserved Parquet's double doink. Each uh, Zach, here we go. This is a funny one. Each year I bottle. Uh, I'm sorry. Each year I buy a bottle of champagne at the beginning of the NFL season. It has nothing to do with any measure of Bears success. I pop the bottle whenever it becomes official. The Packers will not be winning the Super Bowl. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. All right, Zach says, uh, now we get to go eight, eight, eight to eight. No, I'm sorry. Now we get to go eight and eight for about four years until everyone gets paid, quits, signs with another team, retires, dies, and we go straight back to four and 12, six and 10 range, which is where we belong. You got that window, Gene. Yeah. You got that window. Uh, although Trubisky may actually be the first quarterback that takes a pay cut on his first uh, non rookie contract. So, All right, Zach, it is the first game. How many more of these? I got. We got two more here, Gene. I know uh, you love these, Zach. It is the first game of the season. The Bears are firing, firing all cylinders. Seventeen zero lead at halftime. Rogers is seriously hurt. My dad texts me to ask how many Super Bowl tickets I want. I designated Khalil Mack to be the one who raises my future children. We finally have a coach who isn't afraid to call entertaining plays and a QB who is serviceable for the first time since Smoke and Jay got here. I haven't been this happy to Bears. I haven't been this happy to be a Bears fan since sometime in January of 06. But then I see it. I see Rodgers coming out of the tunnel after halftime, and the entire Jack's frozen pizza I ate for dinner almost ends up on the carpet. For, I think that's actually the funniest part of the uh, letter. Jack's frozen pizza, that's a super Midwest thing to do, is wow. just to get a frozen pizza from Jack's, or Jack's frozen yeah. pizza and eat it as like your meal. I look at my girlfriend, and I tell her the Bears are going to lose this game. Fast forward, the Bears have given up 17 straight points. Rodgers being Rodgers and Chris Collinsworth has an erection that is threatening to knock his mic off his coat. Kyle Fuller drops what would have been a game-ending pick six. I looked at my girlfriend and said, Rodgers is going to throw the game winner right here. He threw a 75-yard touchdown pass. Bears lose 24-23. I should start fucking gambling. Hey, maybe. Maybe. Uh, And then Chuck. Chuck ends it with... uh, this year, the regularly scheduled destruction of Bears fans' hopes and dreams occurred on January 6th, which is also my daughter's birthday. We were having a small get-together from my daughter in which the game was on and everyone was pacing and saying very little. It came time to sing happy birthday and blow out the candles when Mr. Parquet trotted out on the field. A hush fell over the gathering. You know what happened next. What followed was similar to a scene out of one of those documentaries from the 70s and 80s about poorly run, funded state mental hospitals. There was incoherent screaming, yelling, sobbing, flaring, la- languishing. Relatives and friends were called on speakerphone and FaceTime, at which point there was, they were invited to join in on the cacophony of despair. The word fuck was said, nay shouted, no less than 577 times, all while my two young children looked on in horror and fear. Several folks had to excuse themselves to, be to the garage or patio to talk to God in private, as was, as was probably the best given the circumstances. After all this, we still had to sing an open presence. Happy birthday, sweetie. All right, let's go. Thank you. Bears are going to be good, <laughs> though. If the Packers all can't right. win, maybe the Bears will win. Again, these are pretty lame. La- yeah. Lame letters. Gee, my, my favorite letters are the ones about people puking or there in the go. bathroom. Well, just drunk. hey, if the Packers beat the Bears opening night, uh, in ten days, people will be puking and doing that may all be kinds you. of crazy stuff. That may be you. Do they still have the uh, the troughs at the uh, ah uh, Soldier Field? Soldier Field. Wrigley, they do. I bet they do. That's an old stadium. Oh, they remodeled. I'm not sure. I'll I'll take note of it when I'm there. In ten days. All right. Let me know. All let right. me know. All right, Gene. Well, uh, I think that's the show. All right. Uh, I think we learned a lot today, right? We really did. Me, probably more so than you, since you you already knew the stories. But, yeah, I learned a lot, so thank you yeah. for that. I, you know, Gene, this is not just entertainment. This is uh, education. Right. Actually, yes, of course. 100%. All right. So uh, that's it. That's the show, Gene. Another one in the there books. There you go. <laughs> 
All right, next so week that's I'll it. Be, next week I'll be heading back to the Midwest Gene, to get firsthand accounts of Gene, everything. Gene feels like uh, Gene sounds like you've uh, been beaten, just like the uh, <laughs> like he saw the double dink all over again. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gene, that'll be a good point. Maybe we'll have to do a show uh, after the uh, the Bears game yeah. on that Thursday night. Especially I, if we're first, I got to come up with a way to get tickets. F- I can. I know how to get them. I just got to be able to afford them. That's the biggest mm-hmm. stressful thing you got in your life right well, now is getting those Bears I tickets. I just have to draw lines. How much you really want to pay? I, um, are you, you're not going to spend over four hundred, are you? Well, right now you would have to. Yeah, the teachers... just wait. Just wait until the very last minute, and then yeah, that's if you can't, what I just, hope, just, but... if you can't do it, just go over to Joe's restaurant. Well, if not, then I'll just Bill. drive to Milwaukee and go to the Cubs game. There you go. Yeah, yeah but you can't. You got to do it like at right at five p.m. Right yeah, before the oh, game. Yeah, yeah. I'll figure it 7 out. Seven p.m. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we got. We all have that uh, to look forward to. So, all okay. right. So uh, my G- my name is Chris Dots. That is Gene Steichen. Bye. And it's been the Midwest Sports Show. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next week. That was something.